Hey everybody, this is Gaming Ultimate, and in this episode we're going to be continuing our journey through Pokemon Black version 2. Now we're going to head to Celestial Tower. As you can see, I did kind of train up my Pokemon a bit more. Some are close to leveling up, while others aren't. Right now, one of the closest to leveling up is actually Mapbat, so we might as well see if we can get him to level up. Let's see. Celestial Tower is over here. Alright, let's head on up. Okay, so... Let's continue forward. Oh! Of course, ran to another fungus. But now it's of course hailing, which means that we're gonna start being hurt by the ice. A lucky critical hit. Hopefully, it gets hurt by that. Let's see, Fungus. This car has poison type, which means that it'll actually be weak to flying types. And psychic types, but it'd be better for us to use the flying type advantage. And either way, uh Glorier Tranquil is actually close to evolving. Air cutters. I guess just so this is actually easier and we can pass through better. Let's use fly. We're still gonna get hurt by the hail, but we might hit with a never mind! Of course we don't hit with the hail. With the fly. Zero cutter one more time. It's getting close to being finished off. Chloe is now poisoned. Let's do a quick attack real quick. And there we go. We Both the Pokemon have are getting close to evolving. And of course, just so that we're safe, let's heal up. I should have grabbed some healing up before I came up here. Oh, let's go to Celestial Tower. Oh, there's Professor Juniper. Celestial Tower is a giant memorial. I wonder if this building was built in a place with many ghosts and psychic type Pokemon, or if those Pokemon got here because it was built. Oh, right, how are things with Skyla? Oh my, you won the chip patch! Well, the plane should be ready to fly then. Thanks for coming to give me. Take this as a as thanks. Try using it. We got a lucky egg. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold increases increases the amount of EXP points received in battle by a bit. Have strong Pokemon will, having strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. She'll be waiting for us in Missile Strong City. Might as well start heading back. Anyway, we might as well get the lucky to someone, and I think Mapbat will be the one to hold it. This is the glowing you fly, the fly, the fly back. Alright, let's see if she's, if she's more than likely up here.
Looks like the professor's reached a stopping point in our investigation. Ready to hop aboard my plane? Yep. Okay, Scout. We're ready. Please take us to Lintimus Lint Town. Oh, Bianca! Wait! You guys... I want to fly too! I want to do some research in Reversal Mountain. <laughs> Bianca, you're here? You're starting to show the dedication of a serious researcher these days. Okay, everyone, off we go to Lin Lintimus Town. Hehe, <laughs> looks like everyone's here. Finally, it's time to fly the universe, guys! Here we go! Well, that was quicker than I thought. <laughs> well, I suppose I should tell you why I brought you out here. June told me that a group of people calling themselves Team Plasma are planning to use legendary Pokemon to take over the Unova region. As you may know, in the Unova region there are two legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, Zekrom and Meshiram. Two years ago, Zekron and Reshiram each recognized a trainer as a hero. They are following the, those trainers. So Team Plasma shouldn't be able to use the Dragon-type Pokemon. That's true. What could they be planning? There's much we don't know about Zekron and Reshiram. That's why I want to hear what, what Lucid City's gym leader, Drayden, has to say about this. He's a Dragon-type gym leader, so he might know something. So we're finally to the reason why I brought you here. I want you to go to Opal... Lucid City and hear what Drayden has to say. And I would also like you to help me if something happens. Thank you. It's really best not to get involved with Team Plasma to start with, but still, hearing what Drayden has to say about the Dragon-type Pokemon will be really interesting. More importantly, it will help fill up the book pages of your, of your Pokedex. I'll be in the volcano just beyond here. I'm going to investigate the rumors I've been hearing about a rare Fire-type Pokemon in Reversal Mountain. Alright. Why am I on a journey? Do you remember exactly why you're traveling? So over here we can go to Reversal Mountain. We should be looking our looking our town map. We would have to pass through if we want actually. Or we can get to Undela Town. She wants us to head here, which would require us to go through Reversal Mountain to Undela Town. We can go to Black City, or we can go to something like... There's Annabelle Town. Right there is the Entrolink. If we were actually playing on official hardware, we could use that. So over here we have a Team Plasma secret lab. Well, not really a secret if it's, you know, all for us to see. Yeah. I guess I'll just show you something. I might as well start doing this since, you know, it's something I had to come up with eventually. As you can see, I do have some kind of Pokemon in my set box. We have Darkrai, Ar we have some old ones like Arceus, but we're mostly going to be focusing on these four, since they each have a special event you can do in each era. We can't do this one or this one yet, but we can actually go and do Victini's and even Meloetta's. So I guess for a little bit we'll be depositing two of our Pokemon, let's do Actually, no, not to pause that. That's for a while these two can rest. There's two events that we can actually go, we're actually gonna go do right now. Meloetta's and Victini's special events. Now we're actually gonna have to leave here if we wanna actually do these events. Since both of them are in Castelia City.
first we gotta actually find where they, we have to go. Oh, well, we can go to Game Freak real quick if we want to. Well, that's not where I need to go. Wait. I'm not here either. <laughs> we need to go through one of these alleyways. Is it this one I'm pretty sure? There's somewhere we need to specifically go if we want to actually do this. This one. This is the other way. Now we need to go here to Cafe Sonata. And specifically, let's talk to this guitarist. A beautiful melody makes people happy. A sad melody makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies. Melodies. Am I correct? Please. We get some free moo moo milk at least. Good to see your dear Pokemon. Do we have to have it? Or is it one of those where we actually have to beat the game first if we want to actually. Well, I guess we can't do this right now. We can't do Meloetta's thing right now. But you know that there's something in Melo for Meloetta to do right there. Let's get out of Victini. Where did I put those sunglasses? Uh, I found them, and you've really got to have more light to see your way. Hey, so help you see in Dark Light. Oh, so this is how you actually get the DM for Flash. So, we got the TM for Flash at least. I'm pretty sure we have to go to one of these docks. This one. Hell, this is a ship for Unity Tower. No, we need to ship for specifically Liberty Garden. This is it, right? Jeff is about to leave. We're gonna be doing Victini's, so I guess I'll just show off Victini's event. A special event that you can only do if you have an event Victini. Oh, Professor Juniper's here. Oh, v Victini! In the Unit of Pokedex, Victini was assigned a special number, zero. I heard the special number was assigned in the hope that Victini's power to bring victory would be shared with the trainer who travels with this Pokedex. How do you relate to Pokemon? As you fill your Pokedex, you'll find your own answer. That's what I'm hoping for. See you. In the original black and white, you would have to, you would have had to have a special event item known as the Liberty Pass if you wanted to come here. Of course, for Pokemon Black 2, you don't have that restriction since that event's long since been passed. But we need to enter here. Since so specifically, you could actually. Victini, Victini seems to want to get out of the Pokeball. Will you let it out? Yep. Da, 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 da. Victi has returned to his Pokemon with an air of satisfaction. This is actually an event room. Specifically, Victini's event room. In the original game, once you had the Liberty Pass, you would get a special little thing with Team Plasma. Where they would be attempting to get Victini because of its, you know, whole entry of, you know, giving victory to those who own it. So, of course, coming. So, of course, this one is supposed to be. Kind of it reuniting with its old home. Of course, this Victini isn't the one you actually get in this one. This one's a special 
The Victini I am holding is a special event, a different sort of special event Victini. Obviously, by the original trainer's identity. Movie 14. If I remember correctly, m movie number... Movie number 14. The 14 Pokemon Mari was, of course, Pokemon the movie Black Victini and Restaurant and White Victini and Zekrom. Yes, it's technically two movies, but it's combined together to since, well... Basically, the entire point of the movie is that you get to choose what version do you actually have. Obviously, Black would... This would specifically affect things like the train... The uh, Pokemon Ash would be riding in the ending. Both are, have Victini in it. However, Black version would have Ash be with Reshiram, while White would be with Zekrom. Of course, this is unlike the other. So yeah, there's a lot of event Pokemon that you can no longer get due to the fact that the, obviously the events are, you know, are obviously you know done. You can no longer do these events. As you may be asking, how do I have, you know, the special event Victini? Well, uh, here, I'll just show a brief thing. If you see that thing next to him, the Desmus... DSSU... Desmumi... Emulator. This is called PK... This is called PK Hex. It's a kind of save file editing program. Now, I do not condone the use of it. I am only using it so I can actually show events with certain Pokemon and, of course, some of the major differences between the two versions. Such as legendary Pokemon exclusive to one version. And all of that. But, of course, that's all we get had to show you right there. There was only one thing we could really do right now, and that's doing Big T's event. So I guess let's head back to Lin Lintimus Town. I'll go put up these event Pokemon. Alright, so I guess we'll go through Revelation Mountain. Along the way, we'll train up Map at least. I'll come by the way. Since I need a zebra strike, of course he does. Look, it's just lucky for us that our grass type thing gives us a slight advantage of us. Do the grass typing not being hurt more madly by electric typing. And of course we have Leaf Blade now, so we might have a fair chance in this. As long as we don't get paralyzed. But we'll just ignore the paralysis. Oh crap, I forgot I need to buy some healing items. Once we leave this battle, I'm gonna immediately go do that, so I'll see you guys. Oh, sorry, I was. Well, we ran into this one. I also went along and bought some healing items, so we don't have too much of a weakness now. We're dealing with another reason, no flying type. Of course, grass is not that useful against it. Use ton on us, which means that we're actually gonna only be able to use Leap Blade. And then we're gonna switch over to Guild Master.
it's pointlessly healing now. Like, it has so little damage done on itself, that's not gonna really change much. And of course it knows the tact. They always know the tact. <laughs> Lucky for us, we are planning on just using Thunder Punch. So it just basically did nothing. Macro to level 36. Wants to learn to move Coil. A poison type move. It raises attack and defense while also increasing the accuracy of itself. I guess I could be even more useful than Leaf Tornado in some ways. No. We don't really need moves that increase our accuracy. Because we're going to mostly be using 100 accuracy moves. And, map is evolving. It's evolved to its final form, Superior. It only it only gives its all against strong opponents who are not phased by the glare from Su Superior's noble eyes. Go through this cave. Oh wait, no, we don't. Hey, Grumpig. A psychic type. Which means it's actually gonna be weak to Zorark. Tried to use Snore, but it failed, meaning we get to finish it off with a Night Slash. I have to go this way, obviously. What I'm gonna do is use my Repel. We'll use a Max Repel. I guess. In dark grass, they just ignore propels. Anyway, we're dealing with a Drifplum. A ghost flying type, which means it's actually extremely weak to electric types. And dark types, if we want to. So, yeah, let's use dark type moves. Yeah, this is the Hex, though, which means Illusion doesn't last long. Hey, that means we can immediately use Night Slash. This might not do anything, it's just gonna keep using Night. It's just gonna keep using Hex. Oh yeah, Aftermath. Basically, it just means they exp they sort of explode. Of course the last piece of grass we end up in a Pokemon battle. Hands I get the Drift Bloom again. Uh, no, we're just running. We're just running. Strange house. This is, well, a strange house. Let's head down here. We got a spell tag. I guess we can go up from here.
Let's go through here. Huh. It's a hiker! <laughs> What's this, a visitor? Oh, I'm so happy to meet someone else here. Could I ask you to be my opponent in a long-winded Pokemon battle? Gonna send a new metal. Who's a fire ground type? Which he immediately gets rid of his grass advantage with the ground typing. Hey, look, man, I killed the fire type just by being grass. And next is gonna be sending out a Sigil. A psychic. Obviously, psychic flying, which means you can use electric or darkness. Let's go with dark. Zoroark needs to get some more EXP. Of course, it has mirror move, which will copy us. Not that strong though, so we'll just use a faint attack. Zorak level up to level 35. We could have gone up there before from the middle, why can't we now? Huh, everything's actually changed. I don't trust... Do we have any repels? We have four more repels. Huh? An everlasting dark dream. I have an endless dream of darkness. Dad? Mom? Abra? Where are you? I guess we'll go in here. We found a bull eel. We have three more bells left. Huh, everything's different. We can now actually walk through here and we can... Looks like we can grab that item now. We got a dusk zone. Gonna keep... I guess we'll go up again. Now the mill door's open. In the dark dream, I heard my dad's voice. Forget about the lunar wing. Please stay here with me. The lunar wing? We found the lunar wing. Oh, the lunar wing. I can't take it now. It'll be okay. Please return the wing to the Pokemon. I was waiting on the bridge, so I could return it myself. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we'll use our last repel just to get out of here. Oh, that was strange. So, superior, we got superior now. We found that we got... Juniper and even the EXP, the special egg. We have the ghost out, we have the mysterious house, and got the lunar wing. And we even saw Victini's event. So, next time, I think we're gonna continue ahead. Maybe we'll go back and return the lunar wing to whoever is wanting it back, I guess. So, I'll see you guys next time.